Biden administration moved forward with closing what's known as the gun show loophole requiring more people buying and selling guns to undergo a background check. But what impact, if any, will that have in Vermont? Channel 3's Cam Smith is looking into it and joins us live. Cam, what do you know? Gun advocates I spoke with say the changes nationally are already in effect here in Vermont and have been for several years. Gun control advocates are calling it a win while still pushing for additional gun restrictions in Montpelier. In many ways, we have miles to go. Connor Casey, the executive director for Gun Sense Vermont, applauding the Biden administration's move to close the so-called gun show loophole, meaning more gun sales will undergo background checks. Folks selling guns on the internet in gun shows um, in their own homes have really been able to circumvent this very common sense measure that says if you want to purchase a firearm, you have to undergo a background check. Gun advocates in the state say these measures are already in place in Vermont. In 2018, Governor Scott signed a sweeping gun reform bill requiring universal background checks and enacting red flag laws which prevent people deemed a danger to themselves or others from owning or buying a gun. Every transaction that happens at a gun show has a background check performed on it. For any dealer that was selling at a gun show, federal law requires them to do a background check. That's, uh, they're a heavily regulated profession. Right now, lawmakers are targeting so-called ghost guns, which can be assembled from separately purchased parts or 3D printed, which lack serial numbers, making them untraceable. S-209 mandates that the owner must take it to a licensed dealer to have a serial number put on it, undergo a background check, and wait 72 hours before transfer. It, it really negates the impact of having any background checks or any other measures there. If, if somebody's able to purchase these, you know, on the internet and assemble the parts at home, so uh, to, to us, it's just a no-brainer to do. Gun rights advocates point to federal laws, stating someone can legally build a gun at home, but Bradley says the real focus should be going after people who use guns illegally. If you use a ghost gun or an unserialized gun in the commission of a, of a crime, a felony crime, then, uh, then we should throw the book at you. We are not going to control criminal behavior by stepping on good citizens. Now, the ghost gun bill passed out of the Senate and is now in the House Judiciary Committee. It's not clear when the committee will vote on it. Kat? Cam, thank you.